All right, in this video, I'm going to be kind of just defining geometric sequences and giving you an idea of what they look like um, and what they don't look like. All right, so a geometric sequence is a list of numbers uh, increasing or decreasing by a constant of multiplication. Um, to be clear, in arithmetic, we are adding or subtracting. Um, in geometric, we're going to be multiplying or dividing. Um, now, to be clear, in the case of dividing, we technically are still multiplying, and, uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here's an example of a geometric sequence. Um, and this one is not uh, one that students tend to gravitate towards often because there's alternating signs from negative to positive and etc. But really, if I think about this, to get from negative 5 to 15, I'm multiplying by negative 3. And to get from 15 to negative 45, I'm doing the same thing. I'm multiplying by negative 3 every time. Okay? It's, you know, it's one of those things uh, where you see the alternating signs and we see that we're multiplying every time. All you have to do is pop a negative uh, onto that thing you're multiplying by and it'll alternate. Uh, it'll go from negative to positive to negative to positive or positive to negative, etc. Okay, so don't reinvent the wheel on that. All right, here's another example. Um, and let's say I had this missing term here. All right. Uh, well, to get from 48 to 24, okay, it looks like I'm going to be dividing by 2. Oh, whoops, put the bridge in the wrong place. But yes, to get from 24 to 12, I'm still dividing by 2. Okay. And to get from 12 to the next term, I'm obviously going to have to divide by 2 which means that next term would be a 6, okay? And I would keep going, so then I'd go 3, 3 halves, 3 fourths, etc. All right, now, <clears throat> if I have a non-constant change in multipliers, uh, a variable change, then uh, I could have something that looks like this. From 2 to negative 4, it's pretty clear, I'm multiplying by negative 2. But from negative 4 to 12, I'm multiplying by negative 3. And then from 12 to negative 48, I'm multiplying by negative 4. I'm clearly not adding because the numbers are just, they seem to be going crazy. And I mean, adding, you could identify that pattern pretty quickly. Um, but I, I mean, I, I know what would come next, right? I would multiply by negative 5. So I understand the pattern, but the pattern is totally not geometric. All right, another not example. 2, 11, 20, right? I'm adding 9 every time, okay, so I see that pattern, but this is an arithmetic sequence. While we're familiar with it, it's totally not geometric. All right, so uh, what it really takes for a sequence to be geometric is if you are only multiplying or dividing a constant uh, from one term to get to the next, then we're looking at a geometric sequence. This is a special thing. That's why it has a special term.